Hey, Kyle. Hey, Rachel. What are you reading? It's a book about the history of ice fishing. You know, I just finished a chapter about a lot of different types of hooks. That sounds so interesting. And that's a coincidence because I've been thinking about hooks too, but for the classroom. Wow, that is a coincidence. Why do you think that hooks are so successful for student engagement? There's a lot of engaging content that we can get at a moment's notice. Think viral videos or cell phone games. Students can get all of this information too. And that creates a little bit of competition for teachers because that means we only have a very narrow window of time to get our students' attention. And that's where engagement hooks come in. Engagement hooks get your students' interest before you start a lesson. And then that way that content's no longer just plain old boring information, it's something that has captured their interest and gotten their attention, so they're more likely to interact with that content. How can a teacher make sure that they're using effective hooks? I think experimentation is always the way to go. As teachers, we know that sometimes the first time we try something, it works really well, and then sometimes you need to adapt it. Lesson hooks are no different, but I think one key to success is finding student interests. You're getting to know your students through icebreakers and rapport building activities, so you know what some of their interests are. So work those into your lesson hooks. For instance, if you find that a lot of your students are into sports, in a math lesson, you might talk about where a ball hits a bat to create the angle for a home run. Or if you have really musical students, you might talk a little bit about rhythm or how to read music. In any of these cases, you use those interests to bolster your students' attention so that they can really get invested in what you're about to teach. Yeah, great. It's always wonderful to involve student interests in your lesson. So what type of hook do you think is the most useful? I'm always going to say active learning. The benefits are multiple. Kinesthetic activities are more memorable. Blood flow to the brain helps students retain information more readily. These are all great benefits. Students are used to sitting in their desks. Whether it's one of their favorite classes or not, whether it's the beginning or the end, they're used to sitting when they get instruction. So when you change it and when you get them up and moving for a hook, it's instantly going to be more memorable. And then that way, you're not competing with the ghosts of lessons past. You've already created something new, you've gotten your students' attention, and that's what a good lesson hook does. Wow, thank you. I've learned so much about hooks today, whether it's in the classroom or whether it's about ice fishing. You have to look at some of the hooks diagrams in here.